Hi Montel, welcome to Billericay Town FC. How does it feel to be here? I mean, I'm delighted to be here. I feel like such a great club, such a big club, um, known all around the country. And, you know, I mean, I'm just happy to be on board, to be honest, and get playing. Were you surprised to be leaving Hemel Hempstead? Because you were really popular there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I was surprised. Um, yeah, there was a few things that went on. I was meant to sign on um, for this season, but obviously sometimes things don't work out and sometimes things work out better somewhere else. So, um, yeah, just happy to be able to be here and obviously your right back got sold and things kind of just fell into place and, yeah, I sorted right in. So you're a right back primarily, but can you play anywhere else? So I'm actually a left back, um, right. <laughs> which is funny, <laughs> but yeah, no, so by the, for the last couple, like two, three years, I've been playing right back. Um, and then before that, like up until I was about 19, I was used to play centre attacking mid, which is probably why you see me quite comfortable on the ball. And so I've seen you feature here, not only as a trialist in pre-season, but uh, you've now got a league game under your belt at Chatham. Yeah. Um, what do you think your attributes are? That's My attributes, I would say... I'm very big on 1v1 defending, um, that's, that's my go-to, like, I try to make sure my winger doesn't have a sniff all game, um, no crosses, but then also going forward I like to help with the attacks, stepping in and interceptions, anticipation um, and just like, a lot of energy and excitement for the fans really. So what are your uh, footballing ambitions this season and uh, possibly beyond that? So this season, I mean, I think everyone knows that Billericay should not be in this league anymore, should have been promoted a long time ago, so I think definitely get us up, hopefully win the league, if not, um, obviously playoffs we'll have to do and then we'll just do the business in the playoffs. I'd say for myself personally, uh, I just want to you know, contribute as much as I can for the season and, and then afterwards we'll see what happens, but I want to be playing in the league, so um, yeah, hopefully that can happen. Now, many of our fans will know that you're actually a contestant on the TV reality series Love Island. How did that come around? Well, that was actually quite random. They DM'd me on Instagram. It was quite a long process, so we went through all the process. And initially, even up until like a couple of weeks before I went, I didn't really want to go. But after realising how big of an opportunity it is and how many other people would want to be in my position, I thought, you know what, I might as well just do it and see what happens. I mean, did that affect your footballing career at any Ways, or did you just manage to juggle them okay? I would say that it didn't affect my football in that I told Hemel before I signed my contract with them that I might be going on so they knew what the situation was so they weren't they weren't angry at me and they said obviously just make sure you're fit and make sure you're back when the season starts which is exactly what I did. Um, I do feel like sometimes maybe people think because you went on Love Island you might be a bit flashy and arrogant etc but if you know me you know that I'm just a normal that like I'm just a normal guy who just loves playing football so um, yeah and you got to know your new teammates uh, have they given you a nickname yet <laughs> <laughs> um, no no nickname everyone just calls me Mons that's just what everyone goes to so yeah, cool okay Montel it's really great to have you on board all the very best and we hope you love your time here at Bigricky Town thank you very much